All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, PRS, it's a very fast growing uh, discipline, which has already been of, uh, around for a long time in the uh, powder burning world, but uh, it's now very fast growing, being popular in the airgun world as well, with dedicated air guns that can match the um, power we need for those uh, PRS kind of style of shooting. Now, up until now, I have been building up my rifles with all kind of bolt-on accessories, which can help on uh, some PRS stages. For instance, like that uh, anvil rail by Air Marksman with a nice big wide platform. Um, all kind of uh, little other stuff uh, to help out on that stages. But up until now, I've always been using some uh, DIY makeshift uh, kind of sandbags to put underneath the rest in front between your barricade and uh, your rifle or to support at the back or something like this. But uh, I, th find, I thought it was finally time to uh, step up my game and buy some proper gear. So looking around on the internet when I'm living in Europe there is not so much and PRS is probably not uh, so uh, uh, known yet in the, in the EU. So uh, I kept looking and kept looking and it was not easy to find, but suddenly I stumbled upon a company called Coltec. Coltec is a company uh, which has a base in uh, Europe and I think also a base in the US. Um, and the guys that are, uh, or that created Coltec, they have some military background, so these guys really know what they're talking about. They really have the experience to create and design some stuff that really can help out on those kind of stages in the field or whatever you're looking for. The website offers a lot of uh, stuff uh, from uh, wind flags to cheat sheets to um, I think they also make uh, 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 some kind of uh, shooting mat to put on the floor. They make some sandbags, they make a lot of cool stuff. So make sure you check out their website if you're interested in one of these items. First off, I started with this bag right here. This is what's called a uh, flat bag. It's made out of a very sturdy, nicely woven uh, canvas filled inside with some uh, very lightweight uh, polymer stuff, I believe. So it's very light to uh, carry around and to maneuver. Also, it really nicely takes the shape when you plunk your rifle into it. And it's available in many different colors. So uh, when you take a look at their website, you can see this is a coyote uh, brown, I think, or coyote color, whatever. So this was the first item that I bought together with this guy right here. This is what they call a backbone. And the backbone comes either with a Picatinny or with an Arca rail connection with a simple thumb screw that you can connect underneath. Let's put this one to the side that you can easily connect underneath to your Arca rail or to your uh, Picatinny rail. Now, if you take a look at this flat back, you can see these uh, uh, little flaps or straps that you see right there. And this can be looped through the holes of the backbone so you can easily uh, connect it through it. And now you have your sandbag or your uh, uh, backrest um, connected to that backbone which can then connect to your Arca rail or Picatinny rail, slide back and forward and maneuver it with a simple thumb twist to the position you really want. So the backbone rail, very nice addition from them, I really like it and uh, for the moment I'll be putting it on that flat back you see right here. Um, something else on the PRS stages which could be very important or very helpful of course is to remember your holdovers or your aiming points at the various uh, different uh, distances of course. So instead of memorizing them they make something like this which calls a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Yeah, cheat sheet. Um, with a white little uh, uh, plastic thing with velcro on it and this you can connect to your scope just like this with some uh, holdover points that you can write on them with a uh, permanent marker or something which can afterwards be easily removed because it's this kind of plastic that you can remove. You can also stick uh, a piece of uh, painter's tape on it if you write on that. You can also buy some extra cheat sheets if you have different stages that you are, have prepared for already. So you can just swap out those uh, little cards if you want. Really cool and helpful thing for those PRS stages to remember your holdovers. So this is also something that I got. Then I came across this guy right here, which is a wind flag. Um, it's not really for PRS, but it can help out on the bench to read a little bit the wind at the front of your muzzle, of course. It only costs a few bucks and goes very nice together with the colors that I have right here. Being very happy with this, I uh, sent them a text to say that I was very happy with the gear they sent it to me, that it was really nice quality and stuff, and I really gonna enjoy it and that they do, did a good job. Then I was interested in one of their um, other bags because if this is connected to my gun, 
it uh, can be suited for most uh, flatter objects or a table or uh, a pole with a nice diameter at top or something. But I thought I need something different for some uh, more sharper uh, edged uh, kind of obstacles and stuff. So I saw on their website their tricon. So I immediately said, guys, listen, I need your tricon. A very nice bag and as you can see tricone probably comes from the three lumps you see here at the bottom um, this canvas is also uh, coyote brown um, and it's actually a different kind of uh, canvas or fabric than i have here on the flat bag this is a waxed um, bag which is a little bit more uh, weather resistant i can imagine and offer also offers a little bit more grip uh, when you put your rifle on top of it. Due to the design with the three lugs, it basically fits on anything. Like uh, if you have the pole of a tank trap or you have a, a sharp edge you want to put your uh, rifle on, it, it will always fit thanks to this neat little design. Now all their items, they are hand stitched, uh, so you, the quality is uh, constantly uh, monitored and guaranteed. Also this one is filled with this lightweight uh, polymer, so it doesn't weigh anything, even though it looks a little bit a chunky uh, part, which you really like, like, want, I will say like this, because you want a really nice flat object with a nice big profile, so you have as much support as you can on one of those stages. Very nice bag as well, and as you can see, you also have the nice uh, strips right here, so you can also connect their backbone uh, plate to it and even connect it straight to your rifle if that is what you prefer. Really cool item and I'm really looking forward to use it as well. The Tricone bag by uh, Coltec. And of course the Tricone bag is not only good to put on obstacles but can also be used as a very nice rear support. Maneuvering it in position, squeezing it helps also creating a very nice sturdy platform and as you can see it folds in nicely together with my arm, with my chest. Really nice, stable platform like this as well. If it's too high, you can also turn it around. Have a little bit lower profile. Same here. Really maneuver it into position. Very nice, stable platform as well. If you're interested in one of these items, um, you can always uh, find the link to the company Coltec down in the description below. A really nice bunch of guys, they uh, really put a lot of effort into it to create cool stuff to help out um, some PRS shooters, other kind of shooters. They make a bunch of uh, items and I'm sure you will find something that you really like on their website. So, link in the description down below. As always, it was a very short video on a gear update and you will be uh, seeing me using this in many more places and many more videos, of course. As always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you back in the next one. Bye.